Welcome to the Sonnet Echo Express 3D Video Quick Start Guide. The Echo Express 3D is a Thunderbolt 2 to PCIe card expansion system. Through its PCIe slots, you can connect three expansion cards to any Mac with a Thunderbolt or Thunderbolt 2 port, or to a Windows computer with a Thunderbolt 2 port. While the Echo Express 3D supports every Thunderbolt compatible card available, your expansion cards will require Thunderbolt compatible drivers to work properly through the interface. Thunderbolt compatible drivers ensure, among other things, that the card properly supports hot plugging, disconnection, and ID recognition. Please visit the Sonnet website for an up-to-date list of compatible cards. In this video quick start guide, We'll highlight the steps necessary to get your Echo Express 3D up and running quickly. For more detailed information, please refer to the printed user's guide included with the product, or find it on our website product page. So let's get to it. First take a moment to familiarize yourself with the 3D, starting with the outside of the chassis. On the front is the power LED. This lights up when the 3D is connected to your computer, both the computer and the 3D are connected to power outlets, and the computer is turned on. The product design does not include a power switch, because the 3D powers on and off with your computer, and sleeps at the same time too. This power saving feature mimics the conditions of PCIe slots, when installed in a computer like the old Mac Pro. On the back, these two holes accommodate the installation of BNC connectors, used by some expansion cards, Below is the power input socket. Connect the included AC power cable here. Here are the Thunderbolt ports. Connect a Thunderbolt cable between either one of these ports and your computer. You can connect another Thunderbolt device to the other port. Thunderbolt technology enables you to daisy chain up to six devices to a single port on your computer. On top are the temperature controlled fans that draw hot air out. Be careful to not block the vent holes on the front or back of the chassis to prevent overheating. Now, let's take a look at the inner assembly. This locking plate secures PCIe cards and port access covers in place. These port access covers are used to cover openings when PCIe slots are unoccupied. And here are the three PCIe card slots. Slots 1 and 3 can each hold up to a by 8 mechanical card. Slot 2 can accommodate up to a by 16 mechanical card. The 3D comes with a 6 pin auxiliary power connector, an attached power cable for cars that require extra power. Finally, these guys firmly support and secure full length cards. Now, it's time for you to install your cars and get rolling on your projects. Remove the 3D from its packaging and then set it on a flat, level surface. Remove the included Thunderbolt cable and cable lock from the package and then set them aside. Using a Phillips screwdriver, Remove and set aside the four screws, securing the back of the outer case to the inner assembly. Turn the 3D on its side. Remove and set aside the four screws, securing the bottom of the outer case to the inner assembly. Tilt the 3D upright. Grasping the outer case with one hand, push the back of the inner assembly into the outer case, and then gently pull out the inner assembly from the front. Set aside the outer case. A quick support note. Before working inside the chassis, remember it is always a good idea to wear an anti-static wrist strap to avoid electrical discharge damage. Also, avoid working in carpeted areas. 
Once inside the unit, loosen the locking plate's thumb screws and then remove and set it aside. Now remove the port access covers and set them aside. One more note, before you handle your expansion cards, remember to avoid touching their connector traces and component pins, and also avoid touching any of the chassis circuit boards and components. This step is optional. If you're installing a card that requires auxiliary power, locate the wire harness connected to the six pin auxiliary power connector, and then remove the cable tie. Check the 6-pin connector to see whether it mates with the connector on the card. If they match, move the loose end aside for later connection. If the connectors don't match, disconnect the auxiliary power wire harness and then replace it with the cable included with your card. For example, the power cable included with the Avid HDX card would replace the included auxiliary power wire harness and plug directly into the power connector on the board. This step is optional. If you're installing a card's B and C connectors, remove them from their original mounting plate and then set them aside. Remove and set aside the two screws securing the Thunderbolt interface card to the inner assembly. Gently push down on the edge of the card to disengage it from its slot. Grasping its bracket, swing the card out of the inner assembly and then set it aside on a flat surface component side down. Insert a B and C connector cable through a mounting hole. Slide a nut over the cable and then secure the connector to the chassis. Repeat the process for the other cable. Route the cables out over the top of the PCIe slot riser card. Once both connectors are secure, pick up the Thunderbolt interface card by its bracket and then insert the card back into the inner assembly. Line up the card's connector with the slot and then gently but firmly press the card straight into the slot. Using the two screws you removed previously, secure the Thunderbolt interface card to the inner assembly. Before installing your expansion cards, Let's take a look at the PCIe slots again. As stated earlier, there are two by eight slots. If you're installing a by eight PCIe 1.1 card, like the original Red Rocket, or certain 10 gigabit ethernet cards, installing it into slot three may result in reduced performance. We recommend you install it into either slot one or two for best performance. Now, it's time to install your expansion cards. Remove a PCIe card from its packaging, handling the card by its edges and without touching any components or gold connector pins. Line up the card's connector with the slot and then gently, but firmly, press the card straight into the slot. Do not rock the card or force the card into the slot. Repeat these steps as necessary with any remaining cards. If you installed a card that requires auxiliary power, connect the auxiliary power connector to it now. If you installed a card with B and C connectors, connect their cables to the card now. Install the port access covers you removed previously for any unoccupied slots. Secure the cards and port access covers using the previously removed locking plate. Grasping the outer case, gently push the inner assembly back inside the unit through the front end. Secure the outer case to the inner assembly using the eight screws you removed previously. Now that everything is assembled, let's talk about connections. If you're plugging in Thunderbolt devices in a daisy chain to your computer, where you connect them in the chain can affect their performance. If your computer has a Thunderbolt 2 interface, 
You should connect the 3D or other Thunderbolt 2 device first in the chain to the computer. Then connect other Thunderbolt 2 devices next, before connecting any 10 gigabit per second Thunderbolt devices in the chain. If you connect a 10 gigabit per second Thunderbolt device ahead of a Thunderbolt 2 device, its performance will be decreased to 10 gigabit per second speed as a result. Connect the supplied Thunderbolt cable or other Thunderbolt cable between either Thunderbolt port on the 3D and a Thunderbolt port on your computer or any other Thunderbolt device in the chain that is already connected to the computer. If you are daisy chaining additional Thunderbolt devices, connect another Thunderbolt cable between the downstream device and the open Thunderbolt port on the 3D. Secure your Thunderbolt cables to the 3D with the supplied Thunderbolt cable lock. Now you can connect the included power cord between a wall outlet or power strip and the 3D's power socket. Note that the power indicator will not light until the computer and any other Thunderbolt device connected between it and the 3D is powered on. Let's verify your system's connectivity. Go ahead and turn on the computer. The 3D will turn on. From the Apple menu, select About This Mac. The System Information application will launch. When the About This Mac window opens, click More Info. A summary of specifications will appear. Click System Report. A full report window will appear. In the System Information window, click Thunderbolt under the Hardware header in the left column. In the top right column under the Thunderbolt Device Tree header, you will see the computer followed by Echo Express 3. If Echo Express 3 is not listed, disconnect and reconnect the Thunderbolt cable between the computer and Echo chassis. Note that it is not necessary to shut down the computer before disconnecting and reconnecting the cable. When a card is installed into one of the Echo chassis PCIe slots, the status of the PCIe slot, listed as a port, should appear as connected. Click PCI Cards under the Hardware header in the left column. At the top of the right column, Installed Cards are listed. By selecting a card at the top, detailed information is listed. You should see Yes next to Driver Installed and Tunnel Compatible, otherwise the card or driver might not be Thunderbolt compatible. If needed, you can visit our Sonnet website for an up-to-date list of compatible cards. With all the cards listed as compatible, you and your Echo Express 3D are ready to go. We hope you have found this video quick start guide helpful in setting up your Echo Express 3D. Again, for more detailed information on specifications, precautions, and known issues, please refer to your product's included user's guide or find it on our website product page. The Sonnet website always has the most current support information and technical updates for your product. If you need further assistance, feel free to contact Sonnet customer service by phone or try us through email at support at sonnettech.com.